Jason Point Karen, and today we are going to make this angel wing wreath, inspired by uh, Julie's Craft Cave. Where is that at? Uh, no, it's in the state somewhere, I think. But oh. I, I was scrolling through YouTube and I, I watched her video and I thought, oh, that looks cool. So let's make that Ooh. from Julie's Wrap Craft Cave. All right. So make sure when you come on, you say hi, so we know where you are, and who who you are, and where you're from. Because yeah. we like to know. Because yeah. we know. Goodbye, in Virginia. If you just touch the positive and call it. Seriously, Virginia? That's too bad. I hope you're feeling okay. I hope you get better. All right. So we're going to make this angel wing wreath, and we are going to use dollar store heart wreath frames. Now, I've prepped these because this took a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, and uh, but I've done it already. So you got it wreath frame at the dollar store. They do carry these at other places. I know they have them at Law Hobby Lobby. I like this one because I can manipulate it. I like to manipulate. So what you want to do is you want to get a, cut this bottom part off, right? And I use wire cutters, aviation snips actually, uh, to cut this bottom pieces off. So it looks like this. Cool, eh? So we've taken this part off. Got that part? Give me a thumbs up if you're following. All right. Good morning. So, and then I took it outside. <laughs> and I spray painted them white. Because I'm going to be using white mesh. And also what I did was I just took this and I just, oh, um, gently, gently. That's why yours is already done. Uh, just what is that? Yeah just slightly open the frame up and if you used to um, say Hobby Lobby wreath frames um, they're a lot sturdier than this so you can't really manipulate them as much. Got that? All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this over here. Are you the idiot guy? Sure. Um, I got this um, mask or duct tape from my local dollar store. I think I got it at Dollarama. And you're just going to cut two pieces off. Not very well. No, not really. That's my garbage. Let me do it for you. Sure. I need four pieces. About the same. I don't need long pieces, Anthony. <clears throat> and you just want to cover this bottom piece. The reason for that is um, you don't want anything to. See, you did the same thing. Yeah, but about the first one. Oh, it's the first one. I'll make one a little bit longer. Yeah, could you make it about this big? Yeah, yeah. That's generous, but we'll go with it. Thank you. So you just want to place this on the bottom of it so that it's protecting whatever is up against. And you. And I just cut this excess off, but that's so I need. That's a little high, but that's all right. Thank you, Anthony. So it's Thanksgiving weekend in Canada. I know in the States it's a bit later. Well, it's a lot later. It's in November or something. Um, but it's Thanksgiving here. What are you thankful for? Grateful, thankful, whatever the word is. Do you have anything that you're thankful for? No. Okay. Well, I'm thankful to my neurosurgeons cool. that fixed my brain, or attempted to fix my brain. I'm thankful for family and friends. All right, not got the guilt trip. And I'm thankful for you guys. I started doing this crafting thing at the start of COVID, and it's kind of just exploded. And I'm grateful for it. Yeah. Might be a bit. Um, I'm just gonna cut this. Never mind. 
Alright, we'll make it work. Okay, so get your mask, uh, duct tape at, um, and you don't have to spray paint this, you know, I'm just go see Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is put the hanger on it, Anthony. And this is a bit different than what we normally do. But I got some white Chanel stems. Good morning, everybody. So I'm not reading your comments. Shelly's yeah, watching with the cat. Oh, nice. Macho and natural. There you go. Now, <clears throat> we want to apply a hanger to this. So I fold it in half. And I just want to put this sort of at the top. So what I like to do is just kind of come in and just wrap it around like this. Just to make it secure on here. Just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it this way. This is simply inspiration for you. Not your inspiration. Well, a lot of things. I don't know about the inspiration part. Good morning, Nancy. I'm inspiring all these new copies. I'm inspiring. Sure, let's go with that. You guys can do this. All right. So I'm going to make a lot of these because where did you go? All right. Just like that. Yeah. I'm prepped and ready. And prepped. I just folded I'm this down. It. I'm not worried about it. <coughs> You're not going to see it. Now, Anthony, you need some clothes pegs. Don't touch that. in my stash um, and it's just a uh, foiled deco spark, mesh spark, spark peak um, and I only had two rolls of this and you're going to need 40 pieces for each re uh, recut you're going to make so one roll will give you 32 to 36 pieces re uh, depending on who rolled it I guess um, so <clears throat> all of yours is going to be in this color and mine is going to be this color, and then I've got this other one. I don't have any left to show you, but similar to this, but not exactly like this. And I'm gonna sporadically put that through the wreath. Got that? All right. So this is our mesh, the sparkly. Well, it says, good morning, beautiful. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Thank you. Um, I am feeling, uh, better every day, Lori. Thank you. I'm still not 100%, but, no. you know, I made it through the whole day yesterday at the market. And you had a good sleep. I had a great sleep. All right, so I've cut this. This is a roll of 10-inch mesh that is cut at 10 inches. And try to be pretty exact at the 10 inches. I did use a wood burner uh, to cut it because it's, it, it cuts down on the braid. It doesn't eliminate the braid. So here you've got finished edges, see that? And this is a wood burning cut. So you want the finished edge right and left, right. And flip it up so it's curl side up, perfect. And then you're gonna put it in a diamond shape. It's not complicated. Perfect. Then you're gonna take the top, bottom to the top, and you're gonna put a clothes peg on it. And then you don't have to do this, this is just me, I'm OC. Perfect. And then you come to the side and you match it all together and you put another clothes peg on it. On both sides. And even though this is cut at exactly 10 by 10, you might have a little difference, not to worry. I would put it on this side. 
Sure. We got some rubber bands. I got these on Amazon. They also have them in um, Dollar Tree now. I did go and look and they found them. Now, Anthony, watch here. You're going to come. I'll poke you. You're going to come to at the bottom and you're going to just ruffle it up to the center top. Perfect. And then you're going to put two fingers and you're going to curl it down. So if you look at it, it looks like angel wings, just like that. Oh. Two, go. And then I just put, don't worry about this excess, it's coconut. I just put a rubber band. Oh, I love these. These are these are bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I got them on Amazon. And you want to put it about this far down. So about an inch. Sure. So you're left with this. Okay. Then what you want to do is take the center cur where it's curled and just kind of adjust it so it's kind of sitting on top of each other like that. One of these clips, oh, rocketed, okay. and I just and take the other one, so you end up like this. And you can make cut all your match and then sit and watch TV and make all these. That's your first one. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, we're going to do it again. No. All right. I'm just going to put that aside. So, curl side up. Finish edge to the right and the left. Turn it, wrong, wrong. Come to the top, put a rubber band, or put a clip on it. Come down the side, put another clip on it. And down the other side and put a clip on it. It's a mesh almost, yeah, Sherry, pretty much. Okay, and then come to the bottom, punch it up, put your two fingers at the top here, take your clip off there my friend, and then put your fingers on each side so it looks like wings, and if it's not quite right just fix it, and then put a little rubber band on it about an inch down. A Tanzanese inch. Put a rubber band on it. And then what I do is just take it and then do this. Give me a thumbs up if you got that. See all of you watching, I want to, good morning everybody. All right, give me a thumbs up if you got that part. That's the hardest part of the whole thing. All right. All right. <clears throat> I've made them all. Otherwise, I mean, it took me about four hours to cut them all off yesterday at the market. Anthony is very dramatic this morning, like a peacock. Take your wreath form. Now what you want to do, Anthony, is mm -hmm. always do one side and then the next side so they look the same. Oh, 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 oh yeah. And we're using uh, zip ties. And I have six inch zip ties, 18 gauge, that's just what I like. I uh, can use whatever you want. All right, but what I like to do is turn this so it's facing this way, and that way I'm not messing with them after I put them in. So, first thing you're going to do, take a zip tie, put it around the middle rung, zip it. Remember the flat end always facing the ceiling. 
and you're going to put one of these on. Now you want the curved part always in the center, facing the center. Right. All right. So what I like to do is just take this, place it down into your zip tie. Take your needle nose pliers. Those up the bottom or not? Fairly close to the bottom. Zip it closed. Cut it off. Garbage is underneath you. Oh! Right? And then go to the other side and do the other side. Same thing. Take the zip tie, place it down, take your petal, curve side one. in, facing the inside, hmm? and this is going to cross over, it won't, just trust the process, my Jeep. Zip it closed, cut it off. And turn the heads to the side if you can. <clears throat> All right, so, and then you can just adjust them. So there's your first one. And I leave those close pegs on. And the reason for that is, stecco mesh, it will fret. Now you're going to do the exact same thing just above it. So here, okay? Put your zip tie on, and I like to put two on at a time. And this is like, this is called closed, having your zip tie closed. Now he's got a whole bucket of petals. I'm going to use I'm the one. I'm What? I, I close to that one. Um, about an inch uh, up. But it wants, you want it to lay kind of on top of it. Um, I've got these ones here. Good morning, guys. I've got this, it's quite similar, but not the same. Okay, I place it down, and this is just going to give me a little bit of dimension for my wreath. Go on. Go on. So you want to clip it off as you go. Huh? Go on. You don't like it? Why? Very technical. It's not technical at all. Oh, an inch from what? An inch. I, I, I got, so. Can you speak like that? Yeah. Oh. Right. So, from the top of this bit here, an inch, or an inch from that. So, it, what we can do, just like, just this much, right? It's fine. Like close to the top. Mm. It will be tight then. Yes, it will be a tight fit. Remember that your curve is always facing the center. And it's uh, not bad now, but once you get towards the top, you can get kind of congestion. And like I said, I keep my zip ties on them, and oh. that just keeps them oh, in place. And the more you play with this, the more the stuff will fray. So always make sure that you kind of keep your hands off of it. Another thing you could do, this is just a thought, is just flip this down like that. That's something else you could do. All right, so we've got four of them in. Now what we're gonna do is go one, two, three. We're gonna put three on each side. And I like to do the sides and the center. And I'll tell you a reason for it. So, one, two. And I will post a map of how many I put on when I post the picture. So you put your um, <clears throat> zip ties on. Yes, that's fine, Anthony, no worries. Okay. 
You're fine. You're going to put... Okay. So, remember I said always do the sides first and then do the center when you put the three across? Are you paying attention, my friend? Was it really like that? No. <laughs> All right. So, I've got my three tie wraps on here. Zip ties, whatever you oh, want to call them. <clears throat> I put the set outside and then the center. So, keeping the center in the center, outside, and this is just covering up the frame. And we're going to adjust all this. It's no worries. This is not a race, Anthony. You don't have to hurry. Okay? And if these, zip uh, these close pegs are in the way, take them off. So I'm doing the outside as well. Oops, wrong way. Oops. So look how it's covering up the mechanics of this. Or the frame. So see how my... It's covering everything up. Zip tie. Or can come off. Cut it off. And I like to cut them off as I go. And they're not in my way. And turn them if you remember. And I turn them into the center. And then I'm putting my third one in that's going to lay it flat. And that makes everything lay down. Looks kind of wonky right now because I've got all the clothes pegs on here. But it's not going to look like that shortly. I'm going to use uh, one of these. Which looks a little different. Place it in. In the center. Alright. Flip it around so that my curved side is facing the inside of the frame. All right, like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. <clears throat> Where are you at, my friend? Okay, you got center on here. Let's just move this up, Anthony, and then put. Don't worry about this one. Put one on outside and one on outside, one on outside, one on outside. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Can I can I be more specific? Just put a zip tie on each outside piece of frame. <clears throat> so what I suggest you do is always do the outside first and then do the inside. Good morning, Vicki Ann. I put my three zip ties on and then I put the mesh. Oh. You're talking to yourself again. Alright, so take a piece of mesh, curved going in on into this on the outside here. So the curved is on the outside. Oh, what what is this going? What's that? What's it going? The curved part, this curved part, you got it right. So you put it on the inside tie wrap or outside. It doesn't matter. I just want you to do the inside one last. Outside. You can take your inside clip, uh, clips off, these ones, Anthony. Yeah, you're fine. And this just covers up the mechanics, or the frame, whatever you want to call it. Cut them off as you go, if you remember. It's day one of the 20 day crafting challenge. <laughs> Pre recorded. <laughs> and um, I need one for my center. So that starts tomorrow. 
on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't been a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and in order to get that, you'll have to um, go to my YouTube channel and uh, check that out. Make sure your curved side is coming towards the center. <coughs> pieces are there in total? 40? There's 40. Cecilia? where you can just adjust them. Take the clips off. Move them down, move them up. Do whatever you like. Make Just make it your own. You can make this any way you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in life is. Here goes the flying clothes peg. Take most of these. Every time I do a section, I take the close pick. All right. So here's what we've got so far. Right? All right. Let me see yours. It will look fine, Anthony. Just take all your clips it's off. It's like it's been dragged through a bush button. <laughs> you know what? It will look fine. I swear to God, it'll look fine. All right. Now you come to your second, your next section. And this is where there's a crossbar on here. So you just move those down slightly so you can access the crossbar. And you're gonna same thing, three, okay? Two. Each side and then the center on both sides. So I put my zip ties in. <clears throat> One. Now, Anthony. So just move these down slightly so you can access that. Look, so you can access this part. This looks fine. Don't worry about it, okay? You get yourself all worked up for nothing, all right? It's all fine. Okay, super. You've done good so far no problem. It's not a problem. So three on. And make sure that you're still within that third row. Two. Good morning, Ellen. Give a big happy smile, Anthony. Somebody's asking you if it's just a smile because you're not smiling very much. This works up really, really pretty fast. The hardest part of doing this is cutting the mesh and making the petals. Putting them on is no big deal. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to spray paint your um, frame. I just do because the green, the dark green, I think would show. That's just my thought process. And the, 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 this, the spray paint might come off a little bit. That's okay. All right. So I've got my six zip ties in. Once again, going outside first. With the curl side, coming into the center. I'm putting these on. It's not a. It's we have an hour, right? So it's not like we're in a big, big rush. And 
there's a lot of angel wing tutorials on YouTube and uh, you know just go through them and but this is the one I thought looked kind of cute so I did it how are the newlyweds they're doing good I'm going to Stephanie's mom's Kathy's for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow it's kind of nice that I don't have to cook or I don't well on special occasions I do never goes well. Well, Kurt and Stephanie always say, oh, mom, it was great. Mm -hmm. Not sure I believe them. Whoops. Wrong way. You don't like it? Why? It's going to look beautiful, Anthony, I swear. Good morning, good morning. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving, everybody. Then I'm doing my other side. I'm going to cut that off. Three on the side. direction that you want the wings to go when you place them down. And you can adjust all these guys. You can put little dabs of hot glue when you're done and make it look pretty. Just make it your own. got planned for uh, today or tomorrow for Thanksgiving for all you Canadians out there. The market is open until three, 2 o'clock today. Three, two, yeah, you're right. 3 o'clock yesterday. 3 o'clock yesterday. Lots of people in the market getting all their stuff for Thanksgiving dinner. Down there, awesome. You can take those clips off, Anthony, if you like. You don't have to leave them on. All right, so we're going above the rung now, and we're going to put three on again. So, just like before, six tie wraps in total, middle, and side. do one side and then the other. You don't have to do this. Um, yeah. it just it makes it easier for me and that way it looks symmetrical. Symmetrical? It means the same. No, it's a big word for Sunday morning. For Sunday morning? Did you have a late Saturday night? No, there no. No. I saw other bugs later. Oh. Well, hopefully today goes uh, quickly for you. All right, so then you're gonna put your mesh on. Do the same thing, outside first and then the inside. And the inside one can be slightly above the outside ones, you know that. And always make sure your curve goes to the inside. Yeah, perfect. All right. Curve in the inside. I 
I'm doing is I'm putting my other mesh that I have um, sporadically through this. So you really won't be able to notice it, but I didn't have enough to do two of the same. Hence the reason slightly different. Candle Studio next door, and uh, I make him come and do a craft with me every Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, it just shows that anybody can do this. You don't have to be a professional crafter. But you have your own craft. I do. Candles. I do. Got some good candles. I like them. Christmas scents are coming out. Do you usually burn candles over there? I never smell them. Because then if I go over, I forget. Oh, oh, yeah. I get it. Okay. I have done, but I'd rather not. Right. I understand. On, on the same side. Sure. I've got, like, a scent warmer. I've got a wax warmer going. Right. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. They're nice, actually. I like those. Oh. We're doing good, guys. All right. Now, I've seen some where you could, you only have to put 36 on. I've seen some where you have to put you know, less. I, I, I like things to be full. You see how putting that one down hides the mechanics of it? Of the frame? Cool. What was the name of the site you watched make this? Her name is inspired by Julie's Craft Cave. It's the woman that I watched that made this. I'll post a picture. I made a template of where the petals go, and I'll post that. Now you're coming to the next one. <clears throat> if you can remember to do this, you don't need to necessarily need to turn those to the side, those tie head, uh, zip tie heads to the side, so they're not sticking straight up. Now we're only going to do two on the next one, and it's going to be on the outside row and the inside row, okay? Got that, Anthony? Oh. Two, outside row and the middle row. There we go, one, two, And this is nice wreath to give to somebody who has lost someone. Because um, you know, at Christmas time, it's kind of difficult for people that have had a loss. That's it, guys. Not Probably. good. Yeah. Um, so this lets them know you're thinking about them. Oh I my God, the craziest request I've had for a scent. What is the craziest scent? I can't really search, no. You no. can't say on no. it, uh, Facebook. No. <laughs> but I've had, like, um... Put them on for us this side. Yeah, I, I had a guy who wanted it to smell like a motorbike. I feel like the fumes coming out of the exhaust. I was like, okay, I'll try, but... No. No. That's weird. Yeah. Leather? Leather. Leather's, like, quite easy, though. Yeah. Yeah. So just put your inside 
two down. Should make another candle. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. I wouldn't want to do it for a living, though. Oh. I would get. I, I think I get to be. I wouldn't like candles. I had to do it every day. She's like any job. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Okay, when you get those four in, we're going to do exactly the same thing on the next row. So one on the outside, one on the uh, middle. I'm cutting these off as I go because everything's laying on each other. So what I like to do is just cut them off and then I turn them to the inside or the outside just so that they're not sticking straight up. All right. So one more set of two, Anthony. Same thing. It's our time. Oh my goodness, we gotta get going. One on the outside. One on the inside. <laughs> I only have a few more to do. Outside. Oh, people have gone. They did go off. Well, I don't know why, but whatever. I'll just keep this in okay? I don't know. It's plugged in before I came. All right, so we're going to put the same two curl side facing in. One there. And one there. This rich gets really full, and that's what you want. Cut them off as you go, guys. Try to remember that. row is going to be three. And that's just underneath me that bracket, which is this thing here. Bracket. Getting all right? So now you're going to put three on, outside and both outside and the inside. So you're going to need six. One, two, three, four, five. No, I, I might have to make some more for myself. You can use mine to finish it off. Huh? You can use some of mine just to be one. Finish yourself like I was counting right. Apparently not. One. Two. Three. <clears throat> I 
And three more. It opens at 10, so we have to be done in a timely manner. Mm. All right, can I have one? One perfect. How about I just finish mine up, Anthony, and we'll finish yours up when we're done. Okay, so outside, curl side in, and I have a uh, See if we can get us back up on our computer. The computer died. It died. See if we can boot it back up. Yeah. There we go. I'll just finish mine. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three. Make sure your mechanics are all covered up, guys. That's what's important here. And when you put your, your middle one in, it lets it lay down flat. I've got a flat battery. All right, no worries. Just gonna cut these off as I go. going to do one more set of three. Try to be quick here. We're losing up speed here, Anthony. Okay, so there's where we're at here. I can't see your comments now. I'm sorry. I'll we're go out. back and look at them. Yes. One, two, three. See, we're congested. That's what we want. And there's three on each side here in your last rows. Thank you. <clears throat> One. Thanks, Anthony. Two. I'm not thrashing. <laughs> assistant. Yes, you could be my assistant today. Two. People starting to come into the market, so I'm sorry if you're starting to hear some noise. That's just people coming in. Yeah, hear some screams. Yeah. Sitting with a chair. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Three, four, last six, five, and one more six. And it's going to slap these in pretty quick so we can have this thing done. All right. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna put these on the outside. I done here? Oh, you clipped it. I clipped it in. Never mind. To clip that off here. One more. Thank you. Whoops. Thank you. You can be my cutter. Yeah. Yeah. Two. people coming in and those are the vendors coming into the market. How many vendors are there in the market, Anthony? I don't remember. Uh, if Dan or Carol are watching, how many total vendors do we have in the yeah. market? I don't remember. I think it's about 40 upstairs. Yeah, okay. Seems right. Three. Really? Two floors. Oh well, yeah, it's two floors. Downstairs is mainly um, food, fruits, vegetables, good stuff. Yeah, good. A lot of good stuff down here. It's a really nice, nice market. Okay. Why you can hear noise. That's just vendors coming in to set up. Two, one more. And I've gone ahead and made a bow. I was going to make another one for you, but it's just a uh, simple bow. One more. Three. So this is what it looks like with all the petals in and I'm going to adjust it so to have it the way I like it and I'll post a picture of it and I'll also post a picture of the grid that I use um, and I'll do yours. <laughs> we'll make, I'll make him finish his own. Um, I won't do that for him. So this is where we're at so far guys. And any of the strays that come out you can fix that. All right. So there's where we're at so far. I'm just going to put a simple bow on it. Got them here. I like this gold one. It's just a simple bow that I made and I'm just going to put it into the center of this wreath. Around a, the center part. And don't pull this tight. You want this to um, all right. That's what we got. Like that? Yeah. All right. I'll show you the back so you can see what that looks like. And what I'll do is just cut a piece of that uh, belt or fabric and just cover the back. This is what the back looks like. Once again, I'll post the grid, so it tells you how many you need for everything and where to place them. Just take the clips off, fluff your bow, and that's it. Give me a thumbs up. And there's his almost done. Sorry, guys. Um, so give me a thumbs up if this is something that you like or you would think you would try. Um, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. It's important. All right. So there you go. You guys have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian people. And we'll see you next week. Love you all. Bye. Bye.